Walking through forests of palm trees. Good morning, Coyote Ridge. Hi, I'm Ayana. And I'm Dominic. And this is your C5 News Team. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Today is Wednesday, March 11, 2020, and here's the news of the day. Are you excited for our next beer day for a read across America? Well, here it is. Tomorrow we will be dressing up to honor the book Lorax by wearing a mustache. Let's see who comes to school Thursday with the best mustache. Please have your teacher read or show online link to the book The Lorax. Remember, I am the Lorax. I speak for the trees. I speak for the trees, for the trees have no tongues. Calling all 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, if you want your artwork possibly featured in the district art show on April 22nd, you must submit artwork to Ms. Thomas by March 27th. We are starting pre-sales for the 2019 through 2020 yearbook. Before spring break, yearbooks will be $20. After spring break, the price of the yearbook will be raised to $25, basically a 25% markup. So get your yearbook ordered now and save money. See Ms. Murray in the office for more information, and the yearbooks will be distributed in May. Teachers, it's time to get the names of students who do not have a bus pass for this afternoon. Students. Please raise your hand now. Teachers, please send a message to Ms. Moreno with the names of students who need a pass for today. These passes will be in your mailbox by lunch time for teachers to pick up and distribute to students in time for dismissal. Thank you. Students, please remember that school starts at 7.45 every day. It is important to be on time and get your full day of instruction. If you are consistently late, you are cheating yourself out of your education and consequences will be assigned. So let your parents know that we'll see you tomorrow by 7.45. And now for the scene fact of the day. Scientists may finally have an answer to why eggs come in different shapes and apparently it is always down to the bird's flying ability. It seems the best flyers are the ones that lay more pointy or elliptical shaped eggs while the others are more likely to lay rounded or oval shaped eggs. And now it's time for our Coyote Card winners. Lizette in sixth grade was given this by Miss Ira for being responsible. Evelyn in 7th grade was given this by Ms. Fox for being safe. Jonathan in 8th grade was given this by Ms. Wells for being for showing Kitey Pride. Gabby in 3rd grade was given this by Ms. Sika for being responsible. Ayana in 4th grade was given this by Ms. Fatima for being responsible. Sebastian in 5th grade was given this by Ms. Cleaver for being respectful. Valerie in kindergarten was given this by Miss Ira for showing Coyote Pride. Naomi in first grade was given this by Miss Butler for being safe, responsible, and respectful. And Gaia in second grade was given this by Miss Stobel for being responsible. If I called your name, please go to Miss Mary's office to get a wonderful. And students who are celebrating a birth birthday today are Galilea Abril and Amy Flores. Happy birthday! For this week's Spotlight Minute, I got the chance to catch up with our 6th grade teacher, Miss Rose. Ms. Wait, you didn't tell me this, Mr. Sika. Sorry, man. Oh, jeez, I gotta go. Thanks, guys. We are here with Miss Rose to find out about our 6th grade writing teacher here at Coyote Ridge. Thank you for letting us figure eight our way into your life. No problem. All right. Why do tourists go to the top of tall buildings and then put money in the telescope so they can see things on the ground close up? Because they felt like it. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say that. All right. What would be your ideal way to spend the weekend? Figure skating. All right. Okay, that makes sense. All right. We understand your side hustle is figure skating. Have you ever been tempted to pull a Tanya Harding on an unsuspecting rival? Only when they let men compete in the same competition as women, which I thought was unfair, but I was the bigger person. All right. Okay. What is the most annoying habit that other people have? Chewing with their mouth open. Okay. All right. And why did you decide to do the work you are doing now? Because I love kids. Most of the time. <laughs> 
<laughs> All of the time. Most of the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to get that in there. <laughs> All right. Thanks for being on the news with us. No problem. <laughs> All right. Now let's head back to the studio. Yeah, that was my bad. All right. But anyways, remember, we are Coyote Pride School, so we are always, say it with us, respectful, responsible, and safe. But most of all, Coyote Pride is part of the life.